Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today is Saturday and I am reviewing another balloon garland kit for you guys. This kit came from Angie's. I already worked with them before and whatever I reviewed from them, I liked, genuinely liked. One of the balloon garland kits I reviewed a while ago from them, it was a year, a year and a half ago. It was double stuffed pink balloon garland. It was gorgeous. One of my most watched to DIYs, tutorials, reviews on my channel. So I am very excited to finally take this today's balloon garland kit and review it for you. Why finally? Because this kit was constantly out of stock and I couldn't like catch a moment when they would restock so I can review. What's the point for me to review something when it's not in stock? You know what I mean? Everything will be linked and listed in the description under this video and without any further ado, let's go. This is what I got from Angie's. Let's quickly go through and see what we have. First things first, this paper with instructions, glue dots, four bags of balloons, double stuffed balloons, different sizes and colors as well. Then we have two rolls of balloon strip, balloon tying tool, three hooks, which I never use because I don't like them. They took off paint of my walls, so I skip them and I always use command hooks. And these rubber bands to help you hang your garland to the hooks like this. Let's dive deeper and see how this kit looks on Amazon. Look how beautiful this kit looks on Angie's Amazon store. Look at this. These pictures are just breath taking. I am hoping this will be a reality. So this kit includes a 422 balloons, 5, 10, 12, 18 inch balloons. They are double stuffed and cost right now $45.99. Let's go. Let's blow this up and construct this. I am using my electric balloon pump from Lauderdale Paper and Balloon Company. Love this pump. Now, since we are working with a balloon strip, we need to inflate our balloons individually and tie them individually. Double stuffed balloons can give you a bit of trouble to inflate because they are double stuffed. There's two layers of latex. So here is a trick that I learned while working with double stuffed balloons. Balloon right on a nozzle with my fingers. I am pinching at the top both of my balloons while blowing my balloon I am pulling my balloons upward stretching them by pinching my balloons at the top and pulling I will help air to stretch the balloons very simple and very easy so As soon as I'm done blowing my balloons, I am pressing them against my floor to give my balloons more rounder shape taking my balloon tying tool and tying my balloon here we go beautiful colored balloon so now let's inflate all of our balloons and this method this trick works for any size balloons To construct my balloon garland, I am using this strip that was included in this kit. As you can see, this strip has a bigger hole, little opening, and a smaller hole. So I am starting to insert my balloon into a bigger hole, making sure that the knot is completely through, sliding my balloon through the opening into a smaller hole and letting go. That's basically all I will be doing to construct my balloon garland. I will be inserting my balloons on one side of the strip. I won't be alternating sides. Personally, for me, I don't see a difference if I alternate or use one side. And once in a while, you might want to skip a hole or two. If you see your balloons are starting to pop out out of your strip, just skip a hole, give more room for balloons to spread and lay nicely. I will be using mostly pink and blue and I am still not sure what I want to do with these gray. Either insert them into the strip with the rest of the balloons or keep them aside and fill in spaces with them a little bit later. Let's go, let's construct this base. By the way you guys, this is the second day. I left these balloons overnight and they still look awesome. 
non-deflated, non-popped. People often ask me if I use any types of patterns while constructing my balloon garlands. I don't use any patterns. I go as I feel. For example, for this garland, I will follow a pattern. This happens very rarely. I decided that I want to leave my gray balloons outside the base and I will fill in spaces with them a little bit later. And uh, I got left with two colors, uh, pink and blue. So I started with pink. Next one will be blue. Pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue. Um, other than that, it's not the pattern that will make your balloon garland look great. It's your creativity. changing my mind again i am looking at these colors and i feel like it will be a lot of gray to fill in spaces with a later so i will be inserting gray once in a while just to keep less gray balloons outside of my strip break i went to the venue to set up for a baby shower that is happening tomorrow i didn't film what i did at the venue because i just did it not every single balloon garlands uh, are making it to the youtube channel because sometimes it's impossible it's kind of exhausting to film every single day and edit uh so i decided to take a break and not film and i regret not filming that balloon garland because that setup is beautiful overall decor is gorgeous anyways back to today's review i've been trying to film this review for two days straight you guys i started i dropped everything and i went to do something else i came back dropped everything and back and forth anyways before i'm going to finish this setup i want to set up my grid circle grid frame from aliexpress and kind of mimic the picture that angie posted promoting this kit so let me set up the frame and we'll continue with balloons A close up on how I attached my balloon garland to my grid to 60s and literally tied to my grid. You can use any type of string, anything will work. Garland is on now. I need to take extra balloons and build this balloon garland more. I will be using glue dots that were included in the kit. I'm gonna tell you right away that one roll of glue dots won't be enough so i will be pulling out some of my own glue dots and work with my own i will try to leave some balloons maybe to create a little extra small balloon garland over here exactly like the show on the picture but we'll see i might not have enough balloons we'll see what i'm gonna build here
this is what I have for you guys today this is my final setup look how beautiful this is on camera colors are a little bit more pastel than in real life in real life balloons have a little bit more color this kit is one of not many kits that I would actually buy for my own party great quality perfect amount of balloons and beautiful colors as well I didn't lose any balloons nothing popped or deflated the only thing I wish this kit would include two rolls of glue dots because I didn't have enough one roll of glue dots is just not enough that's my only complaint I will link and list everything in a description under the video and some pictures will be there as well this is it you guys this is what I have for you today I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful if it was don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with family and friends that's always helpful if you have any additional questions leave them in the comment section below and I will try to help you out to the best of my ability so also if you're new here what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button down below for more videos and great ideas and i hope you'll have a wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye